Alright, so let's go now to the most amazing part of the SketchUp. So we will create this contour now. So double click on this contour. Yep. And grab everything. Okay. And then press this uh, create sandbox. So now it's running. You can see at the bottom it's generating. There you go. So double click outside. Now I have my beautiful sandbox. All right. So there are two ways to create a contour for a dialogue. Before I am creating a rough or rigid contour, I'll show you. Okay, so this is how the golf course looked like before. So you can see those contour lines. It's very rigid and you can see it visibly. Until my client told me to, why don't you make it softer, Nelka? So what I did is I searched on how to make this contour really, really soft. So this sandbox is really, really helpful. So the only, um, the only advantage of using this rigid contour is you can place your poles directly on the contour line and it's not twisting or something. Compared to this a soft contour, yeah, you will see it later that sometimes it's not um, properly placed. Okay, so yeah. And then once we finish with this one, uh, you can now hide it, press hide. Now it's hidden, and then zoom extend. And then we will now extrude this uh, greens and uh, use it in our uh, design. So double click on the greens. Now you can see you are inside the hidden line. So it means you are now inside um, the groupings. So press line here and then delete this one. And then press P to extrude and then extrude it into say uh, 30 meters. Okay, one more here. All right, so let's combine it now with our contour. So double click outside, zoom extend, and then unhide. Before we combine, let's remove these lines first. Save it first, of course, and then grab together and then right click and then intersect with uh, selection. And then it will intersect and it will take time sometimes. Once these lines becomes black, now we are, uh, that's the time that the intersection is done. Uh, later on, I will show you why this intersection is very important. Okay, so see you again on the next lecture.